Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, and today I'm going to talk about how to find your niche, your crowd, uh, who are your collectors, you know, how do you know who your collectors are, where are they, how do you reach them, <laughs> right, all of these things. Um, so this is what's important as an artist, right, there's many other things happening, but also um, where's your crowd, there's different kinds of collectors, as, as there's, you know, so many kinds of artists, right? There's so many mediums, there's so many ways of expressing yourself, there's so many genres, uh, you know, that are, that are culturally influenced from all over the world, just, you know, um, an enormous amount of different kinds of art are always being produced, right, from, from everywhere. So where are all the collectors? Where's your niche? Because art collectors, which I've talked about before here, and, and we bring into Praxis Center on a regular basis, art collectors are all specific in their niche, right? They, they're they collecting perhaps maybe local artists, or they're collect, collecting, you know, indigenous artists from the region they're in, or they're collecting something that, that's along a theme. They're collecting portraits, or they're collecting uh, work that has to do about the climate, something like that, right? They're all along themes. So, um, but, but they have other creative ways of collecting, you know, like, like collecting within, uh, you know, a span of certain years of making or, um, or again, within geography or, or, or philosophy or gender or almost anything. So, um, so the, the question is how to find your set of collectors, how to find your crowd, your, your, your audience. And there's a number of ways to do that. Uh, first, of course, what is your medium? Let's say you're, you're, you're a painter, you're a photographer, you're a sculptor, you're a you know, graffiti artist, muralist, uh, musician, wh whatever it is that you're doing. Um, look for where you've seen that audience before. So, for example, if you're uh, a muralist or a graffiti painter, you know, where have you seen shows of other uh, graffiti painters that also do murals? Um, have you seen exhibits locally? If not, look for those exhibits. Find those exhibits. And the crowd that comes to those openings, to begin with, is uh, part of your crowd. That's your crowd. So let's say you're another kind of artist. You're a, you're a, um, a painter of portraits, or you're a sculptor, uh, an abstract sculptor, or you do installations or films. Um, the, the, the question that, that you must answer is, where is other work like mine being shown? There has to be a gallery, there has to be a theater, there has to be somewhere where there's work that's not so dissimilar from yours and it's being exhibited. That institution, that gallery, that, you know, whatever it is, is also where your crowd is, right? Places where work similar to yours has been exhibited, shown, talked about, is a place that would likely be sympathetic to your work. Right or or much closer to your work than say a place that was looking at something completely different. You know what I'm saying? We're narrowing your crowd, right? So now we're getting people who are, um, let's say you're a painter. We're getting people who are interested in paintings. We're getting people who are perhaps by contemporary paintings, uh, by living artists that have to do with a certain theme or medium, just based on other artists that are having gallery shows similar to that that are also. Um, you know, drawing a crowd. And so the next step is how to reach that crowd. But I'm talking today about how to identify that crowd, right? How to know that crowd is yours. Because then within that crowd, there's also other circles, right? There's um, people, if it's, let's say, someone, a crowd that likes sculpture, a crowd that likes, you know, abstract sculpture, what kind of abstract sculpture? From what from what area of the world or what decade or um, is there is there you know something else that they're looking for is it large scale is it small is, you know there's 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 then there's areas within all of these niches so um, to find your niche start larger right start larger um, go to other galleries institutions shows anywhere where work like yours is being uh, shown or, or work in, so that in some way relates to yours and then realize that's the beginning of it. That's where the big circle starts. And then narrow it in. Look at those institutions. And you'll see that they all have certain, you know, kind of um, filters of their own. That they show work by people who are X, Y, or Z. You know, that are that are that uh, come from a certain area or uh, speak to a certain sensibility. So um, so that's a great way to find your crowd um, and get it smaller and smaller until you're you're with really within a, a, a niche that is um, that's clear. And then once you're in that niche, you know, you say, OK, I'm a painter and I found these places that are interested in portraits 
and um, and and now I see another place gallery that also does commissions of portraits, and this and I do commissions of portraits. Well, this is your crowd, right? You know, um, and so then it's and so then you know it's how to reach them, how to find all of these collectors. So there's a number of ways. Um, there's databases online um, uh, that like Larry's List. That's six hundred dollars. There's a number of things like that. Uh, Praxis Center also has. Uh, tons of names of collectors and, and you have access to their whole list uh, of 120 collectors and and their Instagram handles but uh, but if you're not a Praxis member um, if you are a Praxis member that's in the vault if you're not a Praxis member then you can research that online um, to the best you can you know and uh, you know and or you know when you see these people at these at these places you can research them more to get their their handles um, their Instagram handles or or their email you can reach out so, um, but we're talking just about finding that crowd. That's the way to find your crowd. And um, again, finding, you know, similar work elsewhere in the world, could be anywhere in the world. And then all the institutions that are associated with that similar work are potentially your institutions, your people, your crowd, that can then be narrowed down depending on what those institutions' policies are for, for working with artists. Again, from galleries to museums, to artist spaces, you know, um, all the places that could, that could help you. So I hope this is helpful. Again, if you guys have any comments, um, questions, or uh, suggestions for other topics, don't hesitate to, to comment here. And thanks for watching.